Here's the challenge I have. I bought uh, some of these Fairrite FT240-31 uh, Toroid rings um, from this company called Qubits. And I also bought some FT240-43 rings. But unfortunately, in my enthusiasm, I unpacked both and didn't mark one versus the other. So I don't know which is which now. One's a slightly lighter greyer colour than the other one. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to uh, tell them apart. Now I had a tip on Eham to use some measurement devices to actually measure the impedance of them if I wrap some, some wire around the toroids. Unfortunately I don't have the kit that they mentioned but I do have a signal generator and an oscilloscope so I decided to create a, a small inductor with some um, wire wrapped around the toroid rings um, and put that in series with a 20 picofarad capacitor. So let's have a look at what uh, happened next. Here's my setup with the scope, uh, signal generator and breadboard. And here you see the two toroids uh, with the first one inserted into the circuit in series with a 20 picofarad capacitor and forming a voltage across a 100k resistor. So we switch on the signal generator and go over to the scope and look at the level. And the thing to pay attention of here is the VPP value at the bottom on the left. Um, so I'm adjusting the frequency of the signal generator to find the maximum VPP. Uh, which I found to be about 528 millivolts. Um, and at that value, the frequency was 2.02 megahertz. And so I took this to be the resonant frequency of the circuit. So we'll switch off the signal generator. Let's remove this uh, toroid. Put that to one side and put the other one into the circuit. Same number of turns, 10 turns around the toroid. Same wire as you can see. I was about to make a mistake here, but corrected it. There we go, into the right slot. Okay, and then um, back on with the signal generator. I've got a higher voltage, output voltage this time, but again, I'm looking for the peak voltage. And uh, again, we're looking at the VPP figure down on the left. Uh, down at the bottom on the left, around 640 millivolts, I think it was. And uh, I found that I got this maximum voltage at 2.55 megahertz or thereabouts. So I took that to be the resonant frequency. So here are my calculations. There was the darker toroid, um, which I calculated out to be 310 microhenries. Um, and then the lighter toroid that had a higher resonant frequency uh, calculated that at 195 microhenries. Quickly skipping back to the, to the spec pages for the two toroids. The 31 material toroid uh, describes itself as a 1 to 300 megahertz toroid. Uh, with this impedance here, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I know what impedance means, but I'm not quite sure what's being measured there. If we go to the other toroid, we get virtually the same impedance value. Uh, 11 ohms difference, which I guess is 10%. So the lighter conductor that I have is the... Um, 43 material and the darker conductor is the 31 material. I think that's right, but I will check that with the uh, people on EHAM.